Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, in this video, I want to show you the um, next phase of the TRX4 build project. So I've got I've got it the chassis mostly together here. Uh, finding those little stainless screws is uh, probably the most difficult part, as I probably mentioned. Um, but I got some new parts in. I got the motor in and mounted. Um, I was trying to figure out what gear to use uh, that the uh, Axe 550 motor comes with a 12 tooth pinion but there isn't actually a hole layout on the motor mount to even take a 12 tooth pinion with the stock spur gear uh, you'd have to go to a bigger spur gear um, I also don't want the thing too slow um, it's not a strictly crawler vehicle um, I like the trailing aspect of it more and I'd still like to have some wheel speed if I ever want to get some punch and really, you know, take it off a jump or something. So, I went to a uh, bigger pinion. I, I'm doing the 18 tooth. So, we're going to try that and see how it goes. Um, I think it's going to have... Uh, I, I think the motor will have enough torque to turn it fine without clogging or having any uh, jittery issues. Um, because there is a gear reduction in the transmission, there's also gear reduction in the differentials, and then there's more gear reduction in the portal axles. So it does uh, gear down quite a bit. Uh, so I think the torque, torque wise it'll be fine, but I think it, uh, it may be too fast, but we're gonna see. Um, I picked up, because uh, too fast is kinda cool sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I picked up the uh, brass uh, portal covers to add a little weight down low to keep the lower the center of gravity on the car. Um, I haven't, um, I didn't get all the brass parts yet because it's it's just a bunch of extra money and we'll see how it goes with this. I might I might be fine with this, uh, but I might add some brass parts down the road. I don't know. Uh, so I got the uh, ESC out here. I was trying to mock up what position exactly it's going to go for the smoothest cable routing uh, to the both to the motor but also to the receiver box which is on the other side. Um, this servo wire really isn't long enough to go past the receiver box and then come back in the other side. So I'm probably just going to take this little plug out. There's a little rubber plug in the receiver box and uh, run it through there and leave it in that orientation. Uh, otherwise, I can flip it around, I guess, and come in this side. That's a possibility. But there's a little bump out on the one side and the body might not fit exactly right. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, anyway, the, uh, what else? Yeah, so that's all together. Uh, I gotta find my soldering iron. <laughs> it's been a while, like it's been 10 years probably. Um, I have a soldering iron at work that I use a whole soldering station where you can set your temperature and everything. But uh, at home I, I don't know where it went. So I know I have one of those gun ones that's like, it's cold and then you pull the trigger and then all of a sudden it's a million degrees. Uh, I'm trying to find my uh, soldering iron that's a little more precise. Um, otherwise I'm going to have to borrow the one from work. Uh, so I don't melt the connectors and everything. You know, these battery connectors I've soldered before and the whole case melts on them and they get screwy before uh, before your solder melts. So you, you want a pretty precise control of your temperature, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, I picked up, uh, picked up some wheels. Uh, these guys, they look pretty cool. Um, aluminum beadlock wheels and some new tires. So... Um, these tires are a little bit bigger than stock, and uh, my concept for the vehicle is like a, an off-road trail truck that could enter like the top truck competition. Um, you know, and in real trucks, they, they have this top truck competition where they do a truck pull, mud bog, hill climb, uh, a tow competition. They, they do all this stuff, uh, rock crawl, um, and then they add up all the scores, and then there's, you know, there's one winner, and that's the top truck. So that's kind of my, my goal here, not just a pure crawler, because if you're building a pure crawler machine, you'd, you'd build it up differently. Um, it'd be slower for one, too. You'd, be gear, you'd gear it down quite a bit. So anyway, this is a harder tire. It's not a super soft crawling specific tire. 
Um, the price is good though. Uh, they, they are bigger than stock. And in the in the real top truck competition, the guy with the biggest tires generally wins because you, you roll over things smoother. So these are a 4.75 inch tire um, versus the stock is 4.65. Uh, they're also a little bit wider, so they are noticeably bigger, uh, but not not a really soft tread. Anyway, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get this soldered up here, um, get the uh, get the right connectors on, and uh, finish up the beadlock and uh, be good to go. So um, stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching. Have a good one.